How's it going guys? It's Nathan from Nathan's MRE and today we're doing a 2005 MRE. This is mini number 21 chicken tetrazzini. Okay, so the chicken tetrazzini was only on the menu from 2000 to 2005 and some of the uh, Mill Cole Weathers had a turkey tetrazzini. Uh, but other than that, they took this off the menu in 05 and never did put it back on. So let's go ahead and get it opened up here and see what's inside. And it has a production day on the rear of 5264, so 264th day of 2005. I'm going to open her up here and see what it all consists of. Accessory pack. And this is right on the, the border of the Ameriqual slash to Paco packing. Uh, if it was any older, it would be Ameriqual. So let's go ahead and discard of that. We have right off the bat a pack of standard issue crackers with a production date of 5258. We have our flameless ration heater. This is the newer style with the four little pods, not the cardboard. We have a grape jelly that looks like something is leaking. Can't tell if it's this or what it is. It's a little bit sticky on the top there. So, I don't know, it's kind of scary. We have a hot beverage bag with a little bit of something dripped on there. Also, we have our military issue spoon and we have a chocolate dairy shake. Now I heard some legends of, I think it was a mill cold weather dairy shakes could give you uh salmonella. I'll have to do a little research for go eat, drinking too much of that. And this is made by TVS incorporated, uh, Brevard, uh, North Carolina. It's 100 grams, so a huge pack of it. And that's uh, 154 of 2005 that was made. We have a oatmeal cookie. Big oatmeal cookie. Feels like it's all intact. So that's cool. I haven't had one of those before. A 5224 production date on it. We have our main entree. Uh, serving size 8 ounces. Uh, serving one per one per container, so it's eight ounces, obviously, 227 grams. Uh, let me see here. So the total of calories is 270. Uh, it's 24 grams of protein, which is pretty good, and only one gram of sugar, which is pretty rare. And then 20% uh, of your daily value is sodium, which is 660 milligrams. Whoops. Glue's kind of delaminated a little bit, but that's okay. Have accessory pack stamp CS five two five eight so the two hundred fifty eighth day of two thousand and five. Open it up and see what's going on in there. We have a moist towelette. We have this seasoning bin salt salt free. I actually tried this before, and it was pretty disgusting. Um, like a blend of garlic and, I don't know, onion powder, and that was about it. <clears throat> so our chiclets, for whatever reason, did not hold up in this one. And they're really yellow and kind of nasty looking, to be honest with you. I don't know if they even focus or not. But we definitely won't be trying those. And they smell kind of old and moldy. We have a pack of salt. We have the TP. We have a pack of spice cider. This spice cider is always good and it feels like it's nice and free on the inside. All I can smell is those rancid smelling chiclets and the sulfur from the matches on the outside of the pack. Okay, so we just did a little more research. I vaguely remember reading that somewhere that some of these had salmonella poisoning. And on the list is 2005 Mini 21. Chicken Tetrazzini. So this package is affected and we will not be eating that for sure. That being said, we'll set that off to the side. 
shift a few of these things around here and the grape jelly may be compromised too. We don't really know. But we're going to find out. So, uh, that being said, let's go ahead and go to the oatmeal cookie first. Rip this guy open. It just smells like a cookie. Nothing funny. It is largely one piece. So there's some of these you see people open up or just a bag of crumbs. And we'll go ahead and take our crackers out here. We'll slice them down the side, try to dissect them, leave them whole. The bag is delaminating a little bit. out they smell they smell a little rough I have to be honest I didn't hear a hiss come out of the bag either so those more than likely are compromised also so great jelly we'll give that a need we'll come back to it We'll get our main entree out, the chicken tetrazzini. And the whole box of glue is coming apart on it. And this has a manufacture date of 5242. So 242nd day of 2005. This is also delaminating. Quite a bit, huh? Well, let's go ahead and get some water and get this ration heater going. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the ration heater going. And this ration heater is pretty old, so it may or may not work. We will for sure put salt in it. So even if it doesn't want to work, we'll make it work. Usually salt will make these work no matter how old they are but not all the time, so we'll see. Go ahead and dump that in there, and then we'll take our salt grinder. a minute like that pull the top closed and we'll lay it sideways to get that whole element nice and saturated flip it over do the same thing and once you have all of them saturated we'll take our chicken tetrazzini we'll put it on top of that and our box is a little destroyed but we'll go ahead and cram it in the box like that we're going to set it totally flat with a rolled edge up and we'll set it here off to the side and we'll be back with some hot water for the cider okay guys so here we are we have our hot water made up for our spice cider we'll go ahead and make that up this stuff usually is always good smells good it smells like those chiclets the outside of the bag does but the cider itself smells good we'll dump that guy in there we just have a a cup of water get our mre issue spoon out give that a nice stir Our ration heater is absolutely dead. Even the salt wanted to bring it back. I even tried crushing some of it up by hand. 
it's just cold, no heat whatsoever. So that one's just expired. I don't think I've ever had one that wouldn't work at all. Usually they at least get somewhat warm. So um, I think we're just gonna go ahead and do this guy cold. Because we don't know if it's even good, first of all. It should be good. Shouldn't be no problem with it, but 2005 wasn't really that long ago for this. I just don't like the way the bag is delaminating. And I investigated into your grape jelly also. I don't think this is leaking. I think it's just something on the top of it. Because I can't find any pinholes, nothing at all on it anywhere. So let's go ahead and cut this guy open. So, it smells perfectly fine. Squeeze her out of here like a tube of toothpaste. Something like that. And it's basically spaghetti with chicken and peppers and some different stuff in it. What we're going to do here, we'll grab one of these crackers, bring it over here. Open our grape jelly up. We've been kneading around a little bit. Try to get it mixed up as best as we can. Tear the corner off of it. It looks fine. Yeah, so that definitely wasn't it leaking. It had to be something else, another package in the packing packing house, wherever they packed it out to uh, that busted open and got on it. So here we go. We're going to try the chicken tetrazzini by the smell of it. It's perfectly fine. Should be no problems at all. You can see a nice big chunk of chicken with some noodles. And there's some red and red peppers and green peppers in it. Yeah, it tastes perfectly fine. No problems whatsoever. So let's go ahead and take a drink of our apple cider here. Or spice cider. Tastes good. No issue at all. We'll try a piece of our oatmeal cookie. It tastes bad. I'm gonna try our grape jelly here. Now our crackers were a little uh, questionable. So let's try it and see. Not bad, we'll go ahead and hit this spice cider one more time. And it tastes, you know, really good. So overall, it's kind of a shame about the dairy shake. We're it's kind of really want to try that, but I'm pretty sure we did. It might be the last thing I try. So we won't do that. We'll only open it up and spread the salmonella. We'll just leave it over there and it's pack it. But that's all for today's video, guys. That's all for the 2005 uh, menu number 21 chicken tetrazzini. Thanks for watching.